Hey everybody, well I just got done working my night shift. We've got a few days off here, so uh, I'm gonna try to get some stuff done on the shop and show you what we got going on. So we just picked up all of our, our lights from uh, the post office or put an order in last week from Amazon. We got our high bay LED lights. We're gonna get them hung up tonight, hopefully. Uh, also, we are getting ready to put a kitchen in the garage. We, uh, I got these cabinets out of a building that was getting ready to be demoed. They're temporary, use them for a year and then get rid of them. Made in China. Oh wow, those are bigger than I thought they were gonna be. So we went with the, hold that up here. We went with the round 150 watt high bay LEDs. That's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. We got outlets up on the roof. They're just going to plug in. I just found out a couple days ago you're not supposed to put outlets. You're supposed to hardwire them, but I'm going to just plug them in. We're in the bathroom. We bought these little uh, disc lights, six inch disc lights. We're gonna put them in the bathroom, we're gonna put them up underneath here, and then down there underneath the loft over there. And then we bought these, these are two by twos. These are just like what we put in the boiler room. And uh, they're gonna go right up there in the loft. Last night, Aaron got four of our lights hung up, four of the nine. It's way brighter in here. These lights are gonna be awesome. We also hung three two by twos in here. It's a lot brighter in here. Today, we are getting this kitchen started. We installed that window a couple days ago it was really dark in here. This is letting a lot more light in. So we're going to get going on this kitchen. Since this is going to be a temporary kitchen, what we got going here is we have, we have zero plumbing in here. We have no water lines, no drain. So what we are doing is I plan on pulling right over there behind the washer. I've got a, I've got water there. So I'm going to pull one, one cold water line into here and when i get under the sink i'm gonna split go to this little little water or hot water heater and then for the drain we are going to this guy um and it's gonna pump it's gonna the sink's gonna drain into there and it's gonna pump right back over there behind the behind the freezer same place the washer is going for a stove so i didn't have to pull pull uh, what is it ten three so I didn't have to pull 10-3 all the way over here. I am installing a gas range. So it's temporary for a year, maybe two.
So Aaron and I, we just got done hanging all of our high bay lights. These things are awesome. Lights up the shop, perfect. Uh, we got that one and that one on a motion sensor. So I don't have that wired in yet, but way better than what we've been working under. They're real easy to hang. These are the 150 watt UFOs that are on Amazon. I think they're like 55 bucks a piece compared to in town here, everything seemed like it was a hundred or more. So we also got our disc lights mounted in here, which is pretty awesome. Still got some work to do in here. We still got to get the siding on that wall and that wall. We're working at it. We got the kitchen done last night. Miranda's working on cleaning all of our dishes that have been in the Connex, so I won't go in there now because it's a mess, but tonight I'll walk in there so you guys can see that. Okay, so the boys and I, we are getting ready to build a shelf from that wall to this post. We're gonna weld a couple beams together. I picked these beams up. Neither one of them are long enough, so we're gonna have to weld one together. But, uh, yeah, we're going to build a shelf up there four foot. It's going to come out from the wall four foot, and it's going to continue down this way also later. But for now, we're just going to worry about from here over. We've got something we're going to be putting up there. Uh, take it inside. We'll show you the, show you the uh, kitchen. Didn't turn out too bad. It's just temporary. What we got here, we have no plumbing in this garage. So what we have here is a sump pump. Sink drains into that. And then it pumps out through this black hose out to uh, just behind that freezer where I have a utility sink. We'll go in there one day. And then what I did is I actually just ran a garden hose from out there down the back side of the fridge in here. I got a little hot water heater under there. Works pretty good. Uh, this is the vent for the sump pump. I gotta get a, uh, I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but they're used in motorhomes and stuff like that. Little vent. I'm not sure what it is, but that's the house. Oh, and there's the bear up there. So we got the beams cut somewhat square. I set them on the longer beam down here so I get it, get it nice and lined up so when I make my weld it's true. Try to get this thing welded together tonight. Standing up. Okay, so I got this support all welded in here. I may try to weld that later. I don't know. I'm not very good at welding upside down. So it's gonna be way strong enough for what we're gonna be putting on it. It's not very heavy. So what I'm gonna do right now 
is I'm gonna weld that post, that's the post that's gonna hold that end up to this big long beam. Once I get it welded to that side, then we're gonna stand that up. And then we're gonna pick this side of the beam and set it up there and then I'll tack it in place. So to get this square, I'm just gonna put a piece of plywood in there. And I'll get it all tacked in there. And then I cut these out earlier at my work. We've got a bandsaw there, a big old bandsaw. So I cut these out to go in the uh, corner there. Okay, we got it up in place. Turned out pretty good. I gotta figure out how it's gotta go that way about one inch. You can see that. I gotta get it that way an inch. I'm gonna go weld it in place. It's gonna be pretty sweet. Okay, we just got the beam fully welded in there. Got it welded right up here. Was having problems with that last night. I got it pulled over. Now the boys are putting the metal prep on and tomorrow while I'm at work, they're gonna get this thing painted. And when I get home tomorrow night, we'll probably start putting our raft or our uh, joists in.
Oh, hey everybody. We uh, picked this bad boy up tonight. We've been waiting until we get the uh, shelf built over here for it. So we had somewhere to put it, but we got it out of the, uh, it's been in cold storage since uh, 2002. That's when it was retired. I remember when I was uh, in my, like 15 years old watching this thing race. It's uh, got a Mog Z 809 motor in it. It's a pretty sweet machine. I think uh, the original owner, uh, I'll get more information from him later, but it did 137 in the quarter, and I think it was 969. So we'll see if we get anywhere near that. But uh, it's complete. Some stuff has been pulled apart, but we're going to get her back together and get it on the track again, hopefully 4th of July weekend. We're going to run down to Palmer. They don't do any races in the interior of Alaska anymore, so we're going to have to go down that way. And we're going to try to get a couple of uh, our drag sleds set up for asphalt. So anyways, we'll get some more video of this guy here in the next couple of days.